Shalom to the elect. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai, Bashim Kokadash. Peace be to the nation of Israel, the elect of the nation of Israel. Start with the prophets of the 144,000 uh, choice men, Israelite men, whom the Lord has ordained to be prophets unto the nations. All right, prophets to you, Israelites, so that you can come back to repentance via his word, which is Yahweh Shai. Shai is the only begotten son of the Heavenly Father in the world. Um, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, his uh, son, which uh, Yahweh is the Heavenly Father, as his son Yahweh Shai, which uh, reconciled, of course, uh, you know the uh, relationship between us and the Heavenly Father. You know because we broke the law, statutes, commandments. All right, and us as Israelites, uh, the only way to get back to the Heavenly Father is through Yahweh Shai. All right, of course, to preserve us uh, from, uh, you know, all evils and you know, this the upcoming destruction. So, um, of course, uh, you're giving a shalom to the elect, the remnant as well. Great peace promote to the believers, uh, which are Israelites, whom the Lord going to have mercy upon as well. Remember the children who are not prophets. I'm um, the brother Mahpa, of course, giving double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops, a great millstone who will uh, peace and salutations to the election. So, uh, yeah, um, want to do a, just a, a quick lesson on uh, this particular event that occurred, um, which um, it may not be getting that much actual attention within the msm or the mainstream media but of course us within the truth we cover all things and this is something that's uh, major and um have been as a pattern has been going on you know uh, these different train derailment having chemicals and really just uh dreadful events you have this off of Zero Hedge, which was published on the second Thursday of so-called March, um, 2023, year of uh, all prophecies being fulfilled, hopefully, okay, uh, according by the apostle, uh, uh, Elder Apostle Tahar here at Great Millstone. So you have it, um, workers are cleaning up various uh, toxic Ohio train debris, or I'll just read it straight. Workers cleaning up toxic Ohio train derailment are getting falling ill or sick. Uh, rail union leader warns. You have, of course, the various unions, you know, which are uh, supposed to be on the behalf of the protection of the workers. Okay. You have it. A top union leader penned a letter to the Transportation Security Pete. Uh, our transportation secretary, pardon me, Pete Butigig, about a number of rail workers at the Norfolk Southern Derailment Site in East Palestine, Ohio, who have become ill, likely from the toxic chemical spill. CNBC obtained the letter on Wednesday. You can check that out. You know, you have to check out the link. It says, Jonathan Long, a union representative from the Brotherhood of Maintenance of Way Employee Division and Internal Brotherhood of Teamster, titled the letter, Norfolk Southern is dangerous, is dangerous to, or, yeah, Norfolk is a, Southern is a, dang, is dangerous to Bab uh, Babylon, the great America. And it said, about 40 workers were ordered by the railway to clean up the wreckage. <laughs> wow. Long said that workers weren't given proper PPE, personal protection equipment. So these are just regular workers as what I'm what is going on. Mate probably just regular maintenance workers. Hey, we just make sure, you know, maintain different things. You know, I'm just going to speculating. Due to hypothesis, due to spirit. Yeah, just clean it up. 
and this is major chemical uh, spill that occurred okay and like you said you're working with many of these big main entities you would think they would do things uh, proper and you find out they don't okay many of course these entities try to cover things up you know um, you know do a half ass shoddy job and then um, you know just keep it moving hey you know how much it was released from this chemical spill you know they bit comparison to you know Chernobyl you know from the, the different chemical spills that have been going on from these derailments so it says that um, it says long said that workers are given weren't given personal proper personal protection equipment to clean up toxic wreckage yeah uh, he said many workers weren't supplied respirators and protective clothing or eye protection yeah being around these chemicals right these would be the things you would need as a, a result of chemical exposure many rail workers reported they continue to experience migraines very severe uh, headaches and nausea days after the derailment and they all suspect that they were willing are willingly exposed to these chemicals at the direction of Norfolk Norfolk Southern Right, and it, hey, I mean, how many workers were exposed to the pestilence in 2020? Okay, um, yeah, you working during, uh, you know, as a, as and as they deemed a, a essential worker, but placing you within, um, you know, the company uh, of those that can potentially transmit um, and spread, you know. Uh, you know, asymptomatically or symptomatically, uh, different, um, you know, the, uh, actual pestilence, you know, many have been exposed. And even on top of that, even with, uh, you know, people that had received the Sharat, you know, of, or of the double dose, uh, of course, you know what, against that bug that everybody knows about, but, it, uh, Ovid, right, the, uh, of course, um, you know, they, 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 they have people that <laughs> didn't actually take the Sharat, which, hey, you can still, you know, they, they played off of, yeah, you could, you know, it's going to protect you 99 something percent, percent chance and ended up finding, you know, all right, we already told you, but, you know, end up, hey, you can, of course, transmit the stuff, you know, but anyway, you know, I'm just making the point that, a lot of these jobs, they uh, put workers in harm's way um, for uh, the sake of, you know, whatever their will be, okay? And it could be obviously totally unsafe, you know, but if it's just for the effect that something is done, you know, and somebody's willing to do it, you know, that you just gave the order to do, they don't care about the long-term effects you know different workers are working uh, applying carcinogenic chemicals you know to remove different um, you know things I could speak about like you know a, a particular entity I work for you got some individuals that worked over 20 years but have been without using proper a lot of proper um, like you know respirators or something don't even use respirators but have been inhaling and applying carcinogenic uh, acid <laughs> based chemicals getting it on a they, they, they hands and clothing and breathing it in you know these people definitely most likely are high risk of having uh, cancer you know but hey that you know it, it's okay you know Long added that this lack of concern, because that's what it is, for the workers' safety and well-being is, again, a basic tenet of Northern Norfolk Southern cost-cutting business model. And that's, that's another thing. 
these businesses, you know, which they, hey, all of it, all these different companies are nothing but businesses, okay, generating money, etc., getting money, you know, dealing with traffic, you know, they, they control the railways, that's obviously a, a route to distribute different goods and things and such, okay, that's a business there. Okay, and Babylon the Great, as we know, is is, is nothing but a place of uh, uh, merchandise, merchandising and such. You know, which Esau, Edom, the, the wicked, have gotten uh, rich off of. Okay. Let me see something real quick. I'm going to get a quick precept. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just make this very quick. Um... Alright, so that's uh, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 28 and 5. Alright, this is speaking about E. Alright, Esau, Edom. Okay? Which, via the, of course, the elite bankers, which are, uh, of course, uh, high-level witches who commune with deities and deal with Satan. Alright, idols. Okay. Um, they have, uh, of course, a prophet it. Off of the earth, exploited the earth, and have destroyed the earth. This is Ezekiel chapter 28 and 5. By thy great wisdom. Now you can even start at 4. You know. It says. Ezekiel 28 and 4 says. What the, thy wisdom and thine understanding. Thou hast gotten the riches. Thou. And, and has gotten. Pardon. And has gotten. Gold and silver into thy treasures, all right. And they have stored up really the treasures, all right, of whom the rightful owners of this earth, which are the children of Israel, all right. All right, starting with Yahweh Shai, you know, owns everything. Um, it says, By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic, has thou, which goes into merchandising. Which I'll go into. As thou increased thy, thy riches. And thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches. Now I remember like uh, in a Styles P uh, album. I may be gangster and, and, and gentleman. You know it was talking about how. You know you see. Hey this is a capitalist society. And how you know I just um, see you know all these people. I'm going to be a. I'm going to be a seller. You know, all these people are buyers and stuff, you know. And, um, you know, Ehab, of course, uh, that, that same approach, you know, you know, of, of, of just being a, a, uh, a seller, you know, because he had the riches, you know, and he's selling things, taking things, and, and as the scriptures say, how, what, the uh, thief cometh, but the still... And to kill, you know, I maybe get that in the book of John ten and ten. But this man has uh, taken over nations and you know made various deals and you know uh, used, the, of course, their sword to place nations in fear and have obviously increased their riches. You know, that's one way they do that. You know. Uh, but, you know, by that great wisdom and by thy traffic, I'm going to go into it. And, hey, there's many ways he can make, you know, an a item out of something. Now, this man take whey protein, which is not a byproduct of milk, and make millions of dollars off of it. Okay? <laughs> Merchandise, traffic, and trade. And that's all this place is. is a, a place of merchandise traffic and trade merchant this is a merchant city okay the golden city 
okay? And everybody want to be like the capitalist society of uh, America, all right? And thine heart or thy your mind ha is lifted up because of thy riches, okay? Therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh, because thou hast set thine heart or thy mind as the heart of the Most High, all right? And A, E um, does that. You know, he think he's, you know, the most high. Uh-huh. But, um, I'm gonna, uh, uh, maybe, uh, go to, uh, another, uh, uh, excerpt in the actual article. And then Yahweh Rata's eye get maybe, like, two precepts. You know, because this event and more dreadful events will occur. You know, they just, hey, thinking that everything's all right. You know, look, you just send the workers out there. They'll clean it up. Major uh, chemical spill, the realm it occurred. But let's just send regular workers out there, you know, with their hazmat equipment. This is like an EPA, uh, Environmental Protection Agency, should be dealing with this. With, but even beyond that, because they, uh, you know, hey, we know what E he really wants man you know so anyway it says that Norfolk was on the scene immediately and they released this statement after derailment and coordinated our response with hazardous material professionals <laughs> that, yeah yeah we work and they'll deem you a professional <laughs> you know who were on site continuously to ensure the work area was safe to enter and require PPE was real. And this is just PR was utilized all in addition to air monitoring and was established within an hour. Meanwhile, the environment or the EPA environmental protection agency, Ohio governor, Mike DeWayne and the Biden administration have ensured Adequate measures have been taken to project or protect residents and surrounding communities from the toxic spill and controlled burn of vinyl chloride. Okay. We can look up this chemical. You can look up what are the effects that it could have on somebody. That's what I'm gonna try to look. Man done released. And then saying that it's contained, but you know, look at this. Sandy did it safely and whatever. There we go. Health effects. All right, vinyl chloride. Why people are so concerned about the Ohio train derailment? Vinyl chloride was banned in aerosols in 1974, but it's still used in other ways. Just because it's used in other ways don't mean that it's safe. One of, and I'm not saying I'm a medical professional, but you know, I'm just stating, you know, information which we can find readily available on the internet all right it says that this is off the cancer.gov vinyl chloride exposure is associated with increased risk of a rare form of liver cancer it says that this colorless gas burns easily it does not occur naturally and must be produced Industrially for commercial usage. It says that it's primarily to make polyovinyl chloride or PVC, a hard plastic resin used to make a variety of plastic products, including pipes, wire, cable coatings, packaged materials. We know about PVC. Yeah, we, we, a cheap material you know which is harmful plastic okay vinyl chloride is produced from as a combustion product in tobacco smoke yeah 
right, yeah, combustibles. Hey, but 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 why would <laughs> as we go into workers at facilities where vinyl chloride is produced are used may be exposed to primary primarily to inhalation, and the general population may be exposed by inhaling contaminated air or tobacco smoke. In the environment, the highest level of vinyl chloride are found around factories that produce vinyl products. If the water supply is contaminated, vinyl chloride can enter household air when the water is used for showering, cooking, and our laundry. So, hey, it's not only in household air, it's actually in the air as we see. Um, if they air monitoring, it got to be in the air. Duh, it was spilled. And it's odorless. What is, I'm not, is it odorless? Or it's colorless. Alright. Which cancer are associated with the exposure of vinyl chloride? Vinyl chloride exposure is associated with increased risk of a rare form of liver cancer. I'm going to it right here. As well as primary liver cancer. Brain, lung cancers, lymphoma, and leukemia. Okay. And these guys are put, like I say, usually as factory workers that they produce vinyl chloride. Or, you know, if you've been around, as they said, some smokers, or they use this as a combustible, or you've been exposed to this. And then you could go more into it if you want on your own, okay? But this stuff is obviously cancerous, okay? It's a carcinogen. Workers are already getting sick. This 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 uh, spill happened in February, right? Now going on, uh, it says, but perhaps the EPA and the government aren't te telling rail workers and residents the truth that because rail workers are getting sick, residents complain about health issues, animals in state parks are dying. Okay. But uh, apparently, you know, yeah, we're monitoring everything and we're cleaning it up. Okay. That's you trusting E. In the way of E. Or Esau, Edom, the wicked. And you see what you get. Where you can have these different exposures. And, but you can be told that it's pretty much being properly immediately. We're out there on the, on the on, you know. Out there and you know all everybody was protected you know <laughs> they had hazmat suits already you know when they work the union is telling you straight up and I, as e telling on itself too psalm 64 okay make his own tongue fall upon itself this is a uh, book of revelation 18 like I said this man make m m a lot of money off of all these different products from these making from these cheap from these different various chemicals that not occurring naturally as it's going into and a hey, he done made it where uh like I say he builds up his infrastructure with this stuff but the stuff is actually cancerous you know the, in the production of it you know workers in factories are you know, exposed to it stuff, you know, but this is, uh, the book of, uh, Revelation chapter 18 and 3, for all nations have drunk of the wine or the philosophy of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, okay, in these different various, uh, countries, the uh, leaders, you know, they, have of course taken of the different wines you know uh, you know uh, of this place you know then they're laid in like it's like a like spiritually laying in bed you know joining himself with the uh, the whore you know uh, by taking about amongst these philosophies all right and the merchants of the earth are wax rich due to abundancy abundance of her delicacy right the merchants of the earth are wax rich due the abundance of her delicacy this is talking about babylon the great 
okay so the merchants the very and you have various different countries that sell and, and what export goods and are imported into America they have made much money off of that okay you know you can look up hey you know where's most of the different vinyl chloride be coming from you know that's another thing but these different countries are rich off them and that's why you know you have a hey, dangs these events happen and then big punishments are not given out maybe because the horse sent it that oh, kind of scarlet colored beast the scarlet colored beast being neo all right the eu all right just like this sweat slept under the bug uh, rug all right I just wanted to make that other point uh, it says this is uh, after the destruction of Babylon the Great which will be destroyed via nuclear missiles and fire from the chariots which are the angels uh, that will be in the chariots so called UFOs that when the Lord Yahweh Shai come back in clouds to the chariots alright there's a code name for it our dark sand. It says, And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and have lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament uh, for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Okay? And I'm not I'm not talking about uh uh <laughs> you know um ugh, I'm just gonna stop my statement right there because it, it's not even necessary, you know, but um you know, you're going to have it, you know, they're going to see the destruction and they're going to be, of course, in the howling and they, you know, they're going to be upset, you know, because, hey, America has made these other nations um, be able to flourish, you know, off of selling goods. Just look at China, okay? Deliciously going into the Greek, all right? Which, uh, you have this Greek word, which is, uh, strainy, eo, ah, or, you know, which is meaning to be, to live luxuriously or to be wanton, being undisciplined. All right. And like I said, I always look at how, you know, countries like China, countries like India, you know, uh, you know, you got different Pakistan, you know, main uh, deal, the, the, the main business dealings with Babylon, the great America, you know, how they're going to hate when this place go down, when the Lord destroy it, the second coming. It says, standing afar off uh, for the fear of her torment, saying, alas, alas, that great city, Babylon, America, as a place of confusion. Right, you have chemical spills going on and dudes is out there without, you know, uh, proper PPE. Just like people during a pestilence outbreak, you know, you got different entities, uh, you know, wanting proper so-called personal protection equipment. Hey, they'll tell them it's safe to use uh, a, a, a handkerchief on your face or any type of cloth. And then, then you go back and retract back on the statement. Nah, they need this filler. Then you end up finding out that the both is detrimental to your health. Anyway, or does nothing against, you know, different pestilence. But anyway, it says that mighty city. This is a mighty city. All right. How rats are going to do that in another lesson? All right. For in one hour thy, is thy judgment come. Okay. And it only takes, you know, with an ICBM missile, be shot, you know, from one end to the to the other end, you know, to hit, you know. But hey, it's only gonna be one hour for the Lord to bring forth the judgment, you know, of America. Is gonna Lord gonna make a speedy riddance, you know. You can look up the timing of ICBMs, you know, if you want. I'm, I'm just uh speeding through this it says 
Revelation 18 11 and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her for no man buyeth her, their merchandise anymore okay and it goes and mention the different merchandise and stuff which a hey, Babylon the Great have traded and you know have made been made rich off of and such all right and what I want to do is uh, look up who makes vinyl chloride top producers like the top producers maybe by country or something like that see that as America remains the largest vinyl chloride manufacturing region because of its low production cost per, per, per position in chlorine and ethylene raw materials. China is also a large, of course, manufacturer and one of the largest consumers of vinyl chloride. So you, know, you have America produce it here and then sell it to China, you know, because like I said, the plastics and stuff. You know, hey, most everything's made out of plastic rather than other uh, more, uh, you know, uh, materials that would be built to last, you know. But this stuff is, 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 is toxic, man. It says vinyl chloride is flammable gas and that has a sweet odor and is a carcinogen, all right? Colorless, it has a, but it has an odor. It's sweet, okay. Now, a lot of times, I always think of like, you know, I got vinyl mats. You know, sometimes you think about like, say, if you be working, you know, or, or training or something, and then you smell, you know, like some certain materials, you smell the plastic or something, it get hot. You smell that plastic and stuff, you know. It's like chemical exposure right there, man. But, hey, man, this place is, uh, like I said, the prophecies have happened. Hey, we'll see what the Lord brings forth with that, you know, occurring, that event, which is a dreadful event. There will be more dreadful events that's going to happen. You know, um, you know, uh, it tells you in the book of Job, I believe that's the, I think it's the 18th chapter. It tells you in the 11th verse that terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. All right. And you're going to have various dreadful events that happen. All right. You know, you had, um, you know, I'm going to do a lesson. You know, you got pipe bombs being discovered in Pennsylvania. You know, uh, yeah, man. We'll do we'll do the lesson, but you know it's like you could tell you see that you know these different dreadful events. Hey, you know the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shai has, uh, of course, e. You no, know, putting the spirit of men to, to, to uh, basically uh, have occur. You know, going into different acts of error. You know, with a T on top. Okay, that will occur. Which is in biblical prophecy, which we're showing you there. As he going you know, obviously, as it's going to say, going to drive him to his feet, you know. And what really is going to help usher in, obviously, is order out of chaos. Is, is uh, you know, of course, is uh, order out of chaos and bring forth, uh, you know, his agenda. All right, to rule with complete raw control, draconianly, harsh and severe. I just wanted to do that lesson through the spirit. You know, beware of the wicked. And uh, these evil plots, and these events, like I said, they're no coincidences. Shalom on T. Like, all praises to Yahweh, Bless you, my Shabbat Shalom. Congratulations, double honor to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Greek Millstone. Shalom.